What makes smoke in GMU Image Manipulation Program 2? So first off, we start by creating a new canvas. So we shall go 800 by 800 pixels. Okay, on that. Now, in order to see what we're doing, we shall just do that. To new layer. Doesn't matter what it's called. Uh, I shall just reduce this to 10. Make it. Right. I'm just going to draw any old thing there. Actually, I'll just make this a bit more like that. Good. And select it. Control C. Control V. Select all of that, filters, alpha to logo, neon, 30, black, white, do not create a shadow, it's pointless for what we're doing. So now we have this going to need on tubes, filters, distort, I warp, swirl, C, C, W, 20, 30, and just Found. Experiment with different things, trial thoughts, a bit too much. Okay. And same. Doesn't matter so much for this because this is more like the uh, fault behind it, but it's still just as important. So we can see it's far to looking like some already, but it is the wrong colour. And we may have changed the colours earlier, but we didn't. So let's just make it darker. Ever so slightly. Levels again. Then, colours, colourise, lightness. Put it as a nice grey, I quite like that. And the same for this. Send it to a nice, nice grey. Now, of course, you can play around with this as much as you like, add stuff to it, add text, add fog, add supernova effect, do anything. That is how to create realistic smoke in GNU Image Manipulation Program 2. Thank you for watching. Good.